everyone and welcome to the Christmas special of Modern Living TV. Today we're going to have our part 2 of our interesting story on power couple Victor and Maggie Konsumhi as they show us around the house that they literally built themselves. Oh, I'm sure a lot of couples, including my husband and I, can learn a lot of tips from what they have to share. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, so stay with us and enjoy our episode today. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines, this, this is your ultimate guide to modern living. What do you do when you've reached the top of your game? Well, you pay it forward. This is exactly what Kenneth Cobanfue, a world-class Filipino designer, has done with his latest project, Progeny. Because of his breathtaking work and inspiring vision, Cebu-based furniture designer Kenneth Cobanpue has long put the Philippines to international consciousness. His showroom, The Hive, has seen visitors not only from around the Philippines, but from all over the world. With royalties and some of Hollywood's biggest celebrities gracing his list of clientele, Cobon Pue is definitely at the pinnacle of success. But instead of merely basking in the glory of his achievements, Cobon Pue has decided to pay it forward with his new project, Progeny. Progeny is a scientific word yes. for, for offspring. And I uh, kind of like to think that I had a contribution in putting the right DNA, you know, in these designers. Mm -hmm. So over the course of 15 years, about a couple of dozen designers have passed through our doors, you know, both local, both international. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to think we share the same uh, foundations, you know, that we believed in. And these designers will one day add, you know, change and add to the definition of what Filipino design is. But this is what I love about you and you know everything your company stands for and your vision stands for is because you mentor a lot of people you know whereas some people are so concerned with copyright infringement they don't want to share anything right so we're swap on. Yes, right? yes, yes. But it's nice to say that hey, I've reached this level and I would like to share it and make the industry. I think more important than my work mm -hmm. or you know I think at the end of our lives we're not going to be asked how many awards and designs yeah. we have but how many people um, we've, we've helped you know and we've changed their lives and I think that's always been very uh, close to me. But before anyone can be a part of this project Coban Pue has two strict requirements. So there are two things that I look for and one is that the person is willing to put in a lot of work because design is a discipline, you know. There's a, I've seen a lot of people with a lot of talent, mm -hmm. but they don't have that discipline, that work, you know. And you can only learn, and you can only go so far as what you're willing to put into it. And the second is that creative, that is fantasyful, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, thinks out of the box, you yeah. know. When confronted with a problem, you never say that you can't do this. Always find a way, a solution. And first on the list of Common Pues progeny is designer Neil Felipe San Pedro. So this is the collection. Hi Neil. Hello. Hi, Seth. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for thank you for coming. Yes, you know, I met you a couple of years ago and how have you evolved? Wow, amazing. It's been a wonderful adventure. And then I'm really I'm really honored that Kenneth has opened his doors for, for my first solo show here. Tell me a little bit more about how you guys work together. Neil was my uh, student yeah. at uh, UP when he took up uh, industrial design. Mm -hmm. so always come, drop by the showroom when he has new and things. He's Cebu-based yeah. also. He's yeah. Cebu-based, yeah, yes. So he comes from a long line of uh, jewelers. Mm -hmm. So he has a technical background mm -hmm. also, um, which, is, which is good. Yeah. I've seen his career, I've seen his designs over period of you know, a couple of years now. He's seen me uh, since day one. <laughs> For Coban Pue, every design should tell a story. And that's exactly how San Pedro brought his pieces to life. Each item has a reference to literature, French history, Greek mythology, the ocean, and even his grandmother. San Pedro is just one of the many talented Filipino designers that Coban Pue sees will further engrave the Philippines onto the map of the design universe. And with a mentor like Coban Pue, the future is looking bright for Filipino design.
I'm going to ask this question just to finish this up to both of you is, mm -hmm. um, where do you see Philippine design going? I think the, the future for Philippine design, that's about the global stage already. We have other designers slowly getting into the global stage, like Amina Aranas, like Ken Samudio. So it's really exciting because it's in the golden age of, design, of the Philippine design. Yeah, so when you say uh, Philippine design, you probably mean product, product yes. design, right, for the home. I think it's very promising in the field of um, um, fashion and fashion accessories, you know, your people yeah. like, like Neil, of course. Thank you guys so much. This was wonderful and really beautiful. Congratulations again. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.